Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video lecture, we will be discussing the paper 2 topical past papers of the topic cell structure from the AS level biology 9700. Let's start. Question number 4. Figure 1.1 1 .1 is a diagram of an electron micrograph of a plant cell. Figure 1.2 is a diagram of an electron micrograph of an animal cell. Both diagrams are incomplete. So guys, what is meant by electron micrograph? Electron micrograph is simply a picture taken from the electron microscope. So uh, over here we can see the diagrams or drawings made from the electron micrographs. So uh, figure 1.1 is a diagram of a plant cell and figure 1.2 is a diagram of an animal cell. Both the cells are incompletely, incompletely drawn. Part A explain how figure 1.1 can be identified as a plant cell right so if you look at figure 1.1 how can we identify that this is a plant cell well we can identify with the help of the cell wall plant cells have a cell wall made up of cellulose and we can identify this cell with the plasmodesma over here we can see that there is a hole in the cell wall through which cytoplasm is extending to the neighboring cell the neighboring cell is not shown over here so there's only uh, one connection so we will write plasmodesma and we can see the sap vacuole or the large central vacuole this shows that figure 1.1 is a drawing of the plant cell large central vacuole or we can say sap vacuole so what should be the answer what do you have to write explain how figure 1.1 can be identified as a plant cell so we will write that due to the presence of due to the presence of cellulose cell wall plasmodesma and large central sub vacuole right let's move on to the next part of this question part b some organelles are missing from figures 1.1 and 1.2 information about these organelles is shown in the shaded boxes in the table 1.1 complete the empty boxes in table 1.1 by adding the correct information below each column heading right so we have to fill in the boxes so the first organelle is the mitochondrion we have to make a diagram of the organelle as seen under the electron microscope not to scale so let's draw the diagram of the mitochondrion so mitochondrion is usually spherical or oval shaped right and there is an outer membrane that i have drawn and then there is an inner membrane which is folded to make what christie so we have to show christie in this diagram right these are the inward folds of the inner membrane okay so this is the mitochondrion one function of the organelle what is the function of the organelle the function of the organelle is aerobic respiration as we all know that mitochondria are involved in which type of respiration they are involved in aerobic respiration and in respiration in aerobic respiration uh, glucose or other organic biological molecules such as lipids and proteins are broken down to release energy and that energy is transferred to atp so we can also write that Mitochondria synthesizes ATP. So ATP synthesis is also the function of the mitochondrion. Basically, ATP synthesis occurs in the aerobic respiration. And mitochondrion is present in both animal and plant cells. Okay. So uh, the picture of an organelle is given and we have to name this organelle. So guys, this is a cylindrical non-membrane bound structure. If we uh, recall this, this is a centriole, right? and the function of the centriole is written that is it assembles microtubules to produce spindle fibers during mitosis or we can say to produce mitotic spindle you should know that 
the centrioles are only found in animal cells and not plant cells right cell type cell types in which organelle is located organelle is only located in the animal cell right rough endoplasmic reticulum so now we have to draw the rough endoplasmic reticulum so if you want to draw the rough endoplasmic reticulum we know that rough endoplasmic reticulum is the continuation of the outer membrane of the nucleus right this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and because this is rough endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes must be attached to its surface and ribosomes are very small as compared to the rough endoplasmic reticulum itself the function of the rough endoplasmic reticulum is protein synthesis and the cell types in which the rough endoplasmic reticulum is found right it's found in both animal and plant cells right let's move on to the next organelle that is golgi apparatus the diagram is drawn so what are the functions of the golgi apparatus the function of the golgi apparatus is processing modification and packaging processing modification and packaging of proteins we can also write that golgi apparatus are involved in the formation of secretory vesicles and lysosomes so processing modification and packaging of proteins is a function of the golgi apparatus and golgi apparatus are found in both animal and plant cells right so uh, we have to identify this organelle so guys this organelle is the chloroplast and what is the function of the chloroplast photosynthesis and chloroplasts are found in plant cells only right so we are done with this question let's move on to the next question question number five protein production involves a complex sequence of events and a number of cell structures the first column in table 1.1 shows some of the events that occur in the production of a protein in a cell and its eventual release from the cell in Table 1.1, write the sequence in which the events occur using 1 as the first process in the sequence. So guys, uh, the events show, or we can say, the events are basically the events of, the events shown here are the events of the protein synthesis and transport. So we have to put these events in a proper sequence because in this table, they are not put in the proper sequence so what do you think uh, when the proteins are synthesized in the cell what is the first step that takes place the first step that takes place is the transcription genes are first transcribed to form messenger rna and the transcription takes place in the nucleus then the messenger rna goes to the ribosome and translation occurs that is the protein synthesis actually the messenger rna goes to, goes and binds to the ribosome and the instructions on the messenger rna are translated to the sequence of amino acids in a polypeptide what's next is that after the protein is made by translation it's modified maybe in rer or golgi apparatus after modification a secretory vesicle is formed by the golgi apparatus and the secretory vesicle then moves towards the cell surface membrane and fuses with the cell surface membrane releasing its content out by the process of exo cytosis so exocytosis is the last to take place right from the list a to f below choose one cell location for each event and write the letter in table 1.1 each letter may be used once more than once or not at all okay so for all these events we have to write a cell location using the letters shown below and the letters uh, denote some cell structure okay so what do you think exocytosis involves which structure Exocytosis involves the plasma or the cell surface membrane, right? So exocytosis involves the structure F. Protein modification occurs in the rough endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus. So we can write that A and D, or we can set, we can write any one of them, A or D, right? Okay, secretory vesicle formation is... Uh, by the Golgi apparatus or we can say secretory vesicles are formed 
in the Golgi apparatus or by the Golgi apparatus. So this will be A only. Right. What about transcription? Transcription, as we all know, occurs in the nucleus. So this will be C. And uh, translation occurs uh, at the ribosome, which is uh, ribosomes are found in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So this will be D. So guys, we are done with this question. Let's move on to the next question. That is question number seven. Figure 1.1 is a drawing made from an electron micrograph of a mammalian liver cell. So guys, uh, this is a drawing made from a picture of the liver cell taken from the electron microscope. Complete the table by naming the structures B to G and stating one function of each. The first one A has been completed for you. Okay, so we have to identify the structures. So guys, what do you think is the B? B is the nucleolus. So let's write that B is what? Nucleolus. And what do you think uh, is the function of the nucleolus? The function of the nucleolus is the synthesis of ribosomes. So as we all know that nucleoli synthesize ribosomes. Right. Okay, what is the structure C? We can see that structure C is the mitochondrion. So we can write that structure C is the mitochondrion. And uh, what is the function of the mitochondrion? Mitochondrion or mitochondria are involved in aerobic respiration. And in this process, they produce what? ATP. Aerobic respiration and ATP synthesis. Right. What is the structure D? So guys, we can see that structure D is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Right. So let's write smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And what is the function of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum? The function of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is synthesis of steroids. So we can say steroid synthesis and transport. We can also write lipid, lipid synthesis and transport because steroids are lipids. Steroid or lipid, lipid synthesis and transport. This is the function of SER or smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, what is the structure E? It's rough endoplasmic reticulum. And what are the functions of the rough endoplasmic reticulum? Protein synthesis, protein modification, protein transport, right? So this is rough endoplasmic reticulum. And the function is protein synthesis and transport. Right. Okay, what is the structure F? Structure F is the Golgi apparatus. And what do you think uh, are the functions of the Golgi apparatus? We can write that Golgi apparatus is involved in the modification of proteins and the processing of proteins modification of proteins we can give an example uh, for example Golgi apparatus is involved in glycosylation of proteins right okay what is G so guys G is a small vesicle which could be a secretory vesicle right we can write it as Golgi vesicle because um, this vesicle has a size similar to the vesicles coming out from the Golgi apparatus, right? So maybe this is a Golgi vesicle. And what is the purpose of the Golgi vesicle? What is the function involved in secretion, involved in secretion or transport of proteins, right? So we are done with this question. Let's move on.